Hello, welcome. Read this problem, try it out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. All right, so what is the inverse of the function y equals the log base 3 of x? <coughs> well, think about what this means. This means 3 to some exponent y, so I'm going to write it out exactly as it appears. 3 to some exponent y equals x. This is the definition of a log. Now notice they put that choice here, but that's not the answer, right? This is the exponential form of the logarithmic equation you see right here, where they want the inverse of this, right? They want the inverse of this expression. So we swap our x and our y. That's how we get the inverse, and that's this choice right here by swapping the x and the y. Notice here, though, choice 2 is kind of interesting. They've swapped around a couple of things. This says x to the exponent of y would equal 3. So we move things around, certainly in this equation, right? You move, you move the x and the 3, but that is not the inverse, right? That's something else. And here, y equals x to the third. If you look at this right here, it's like they swapped uh, the x and the y. No, I apologize. They, what did they do here? They swapped the x and the 3. No, no, no. 3 to the y, hold on, let me figure this out, equals x. They took 3 and moved it up here and then put the y where the 3 was. They did move those things around, except that's not what an inverse does. With an inverse, all you have to do is change the position of x and y because you're changing the positions of the order, excuse me, of the domain and the range. And that's by definition what a function and its inverse will do. They'll change the order of the domain and the range. All right, hope that helped.